Conquest of Alexander, Granicus, May 334 BCE. The first victorious engagement of Alexander the Great's invasion of the Persian Empire established the Macedonians on enemy soil. It allowed Alexander to replenish his empty supply stores and encouraged some key Greek states to rebel against the Persians. However, the battle very nearly cost Alexander his life. After succeeding his father as king of Macedon, Alexander continued the planned invasion of the Persian Empire. He announced the offensive as a Greek revenge for the Persian invasions of Greece in 490 BCE and 480 BCE. His army consisted chiefly of Macedonians, but with some allied Greeks. By crossing into Asia before the campaigning season, it caught the Persians off guard. Alexander gambled that winning an early victory would allow him to gather supplies for his troops from conquered territory as the harvest ripened. Although advised by Greek mercenary Memnon of Rhodes to fall back and starve Alexander into retreat, the Persian commander Arsames decided to confront the invaders on the Granicus River, east of the Dardanelles. Alexander led a charge of his elite companion cavalry across the steep-sided stream, but the Persian cavalry launched a counter-charge and Alexander was surrounded and disarmed. His companions rescued him and the rest of the Macedonian forces succeeded in joining the fight. After a tough struggle, Alexander's heavy cavalry broke through the Persian army. The Macedonian phalanx followed through the gap and the Persians fled. Greek mercenaries serving as the Persian army tried to surrender, but Alexander treated them as traitors. Half died in battle, the rest were sent as chain slaves to work in Macedonian mines. Losses, Macedonian 400 dead and 2,000 wounded of 40,000. Persian, 5,000 dead and 2,000 captured of 50,000.